Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, do a new way of descriptive statistics. And usually, this method will be used if you want to do a correlation between the data sets where the data sets are not normally distributed and their, their relations or associations might change because of distribution change. So, this is a type of a unit uh, correlation test. Uh, where we will check it against different positions in the distribution. So I will start the coding and explain few codes and you can get the codes in the link provided in the video below. So if you have any questions you can add in the chat the, in the video and I will try to sort it out. Thank you. So first of all I will do the clear command if there is already data loaded then I will load the data so using control plus D then tell that it is a time series data then I will clear create a, a quantile positioning variable which is called x tile of a variable into 10% 100% tile. Then capture command is usually used if that command is not going to run because it has already been done. Because in my data file this variable is already been already been created. So I'm just going to show you what is the command that has been used, but if you add a capture command it will not give an error it will just move forward otherwise if i don't use it it will give an error that the variable is already there now i will also declare where to store the output then i will create an empty folder and an empty folder name is holding then i will say that it will create two two two, two new variables one is quantile next is test and then the loop it will run 19 times and it will multiply it by the five so it will become 5 10 15 20 till 95 then create a calculate a correlation between mal and pk but uh, two variables where and make sure that it is um, for the data set which is below the percentile value store the correlation uh, value and pick up the correlation number from the matrix and display so that i can see if it is working in the loop and then store the two outputs so first one will go in the quantile second one will go in the test and then can close the loop close the temporary folder use the temporary folder so i will highlight and control d so you can look that it has calculated correlation 19 times and it is showing the position percentile position and then its correlation value picking up from the table okay so this way all the correlations are here and this data has been created if you have a look it is showing here so it is 19 observations now what i can do i will go here and then plot this graph so here you can see that now I have a data set of correlation between two variables at different positions. So you can see that with the change in the position of the first variable, quantile wise position, the correlation is changing. This means that uh, the, 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 the association between the two variables are sensitive to the positions and it can also be a reason to justify why you are using quantile regression. because the if the associations are dependent upon the position it means the effect might also be dependent upon the position so this way you can add a new type of descriptive stats in your uh, model where your data is big enough and you are going to use quantile based methods thank you very much for watching if you have any queries do share and let me know how you how it end up in your uh, results and 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 how, how do you like this new type of Descriptive stats. Thank you.